guys welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are doing well i hope you had a great mother's day weekend i hope you got to spend time with the people that you love um this is supposed to be a spend a week with me vlog i started the vlog not last saturday but the saturday before so like two saturdays ago i want to say yes today is tuesday may 10th and this vlog was supposed to go up yesterday um uh, maiden not yesterday it's supposed to go up on Sunday, Mother's Day. But <laughs> your girl caught COVID and it was a very short spend a week with me vlog. So I wanted to come back and do a proper intro update, you guys, before we roll into the vlog. Um, so this Tuesday, um, I started the vlog on Saturday. I don't even know what date that was. Let me look at my calendar, y'all. I am completely out of it. I started the vlog on... Saturday, April 30th. So the vlog was supposed to go off, go up on Sunday the 9th. So I started a vlog and we got to, I think Tuesday or Wednesday, <laughs> that's when COVID took me out. <laughs> and I, I'm laughing now because I'm doing much better. But um, I started going to the gym. I realized that I put on some weight. Yes, y'all, I know you guys are gonna be like, no, 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 yes, I did. I did because my jeans do not fit me, my clothes do not fit me, and I don't mind gaining weight. But the problem with me is when I gain weight, the only two places to go is mostly to my stomach and to my booty. And I don't mind the booty because, you know, everybody can use a big butt. <laughs> but y'all, my stomach been looking like I'm pregnant since Texas. And it was getting bad because people were starting to ask me if I was pregnant. And I'm not pregnant, I've just been eating everything under the sun and usually I can hide it during the winter and fall but during the spring and summer you can't hide it and I got to the point where none of my jeans was zipping up on me y'all my belly is just like this big and it's easier for my stomach to show because I'm small so when you're small and you have a big belly it is it's not a good look so I decided to start going to the gym but me not being a normal person and can't just go to a regular gym and work out like everybody else because I'm super unmotivated when it comes to working out. But I'm motivated when it comes to eating. Me and my cousin decided to sign up for Orange Theory. Um, if you're not familiar with Orange Theory, they do like fitness classes, like group classes. So me and my cousin decided to start going. We were going. It was amazing. It was working out, out, working us out. I was feeling slim already. I was feeling my abs coming in. And then my cousin texted me, I think on like Tuesday, and she was like, oh, I'm not feeling too well. I have a sore throat. And I was already feeling some things, but I wasn't sure what I was feeling. I had some aches. I had headaches that won't go away. But I wasn't sure. I just thought maybe I wasn't um, drinking enough water. Maybe I wasn't getting enough sleep. But when she told me, because she worked at a hospital, so when she told me, she was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the urgent care and see if I have, um, she said she had, I don't remember. She, anyway, she went to the urgent care and then they did a COVID test. And then she texted me and let me know that she had COVID. So I was like, oh, shoot. Maybe that's what's going on with me. Let me go and find out. I wasn't even sure it was from the gym, but like, I think like two other people from our class caught it too. So by like Wednesday, I think like Wednesday evening, y'all, it took me out. <laughs> I was done. I don't even know if it was Wednesday or Thursday. I was done. I was tired. I was, I had a headache. I had everything, everything. And I'm someone that's not used to being sick or don't like to be sick because one, I have a kid that I have to take care of and I'm the only person in the house. So I'm responsible to take care of him. I still have to like feed him, bathe him, uh, help him do his homework, do stuff with him. So when I'm down, I it's just like not a good look. And then because I work for myself, I have self, I have things to do that I still need to get done. So it was a mess. That's why the vlog got cut off on I think Wednesday or third one of those days. I just like I just could not do it. I wasn't going anywhere. I was in bed and literally spent Mother's Day on the couch. I was on the couch for like two, three days straight. I couldn't even get up. That's how bad it was. I am fully vaccinated. I think I need to go get the booster. But yeah, so the vlog I cut short Wednesday or Thursday, but that's what happened. But uh, I am recover according to uh, CDC, which was a quarantine for five days. My five days, five days from the time you got the symptoms. So I've quarantined for more than five days. Plus, I work alone in this 
office building so no one's really here but yeah that's the update <laughs> but let's go ahead and start the vlog let me catch you guys up so I started the vlog on Saturday Saturday I went out did some shopping the weather was beautiful I had on like the super cute uh, outfit it was really casual but I thought it was cute I had on a pair of leggings from Spanx I had one of my favorite express um, sweater I have my favorite coach bag that I love that I'm really considering buying the, new, the black one and then I have one of my favorite pair of sneakers I went shopping because I needed some stuff to do like the wedding guest video that video is already up and then I wanted to shoot some other um, videos so I went shopping I picked some things up I will give you guys a sneak peek of some of those items that I pick up the first item is this sweater that I'm wearing I picked this up from H&M I love the color I feel like I don't wear enough blue <laughs> so I like this a lot and then I just have it on with a pair of uh, blue jeans as you guys can tell I am in the office uh, my first time in he back in here in like I think seven days or so five five six seven days um, so I just came to shoot some content I just shot a YouTube video and some reels but uh, Saturday I went to the mall I did some shopping I was feeling great I think I went to the gym that morning my cousin and I went to our class it was amazing feeling good my girlfriend Vivian was coming over for though for that Saturday we plan was to go and hang out at one of my one of our friends a son birthday party his son was turning one so there was hosting like this really nice birthday party for him so I told Vivian to come along, let's take the kids there. And I figured it would be a great way to start the vlog because you guys never to see us hang out with our kids. We're always working or doing something. So I thought it was a great way to start the vlog. I came back from the mall. I'll show you guys a few of the items that I grabbed from the mall, but you will see them in the upcoming haul before we jump into Saturday. Um, I told myself shopping now that I was not going to buy any more blazers just because I realized that I have too many blazers and I also have too much white. So I'm trying to stay away from blazers and white. But y'all, I went into Express and I saw this blazer and I could not resist. I had to get it. Isn't she a beauty? I have nothing like this in my closet. I just had to pick it up. I love it. It's so beautiful. It has like gold buttons. It's gonna be in a haul, it's gonna be in a reels. I'm gonna abuse this blazer. I in the size small because it only had a small in size, but it's a little snug on my arm and I like my blazers to be loose. So I think I might go back and get a, a medium in this. They didn't have medium in store, but I'll check back today to see if they have a medium in store. So pick up this top from Express. It's so cute, but I think I'm gonna need a size small. This is an extra small and your girl does not fit into an extra small anymore but it's a really cute top so I'm gonna take this back today and see if they have a size small and I also pick up this lace dress that I've been loving I styled this four ways for IG reels but I'm gonna do a haul and then I'll start this a couple of ways for you guys to see but those are all of the items I'm gonna show you guys because I don't want this to turn into like a haul it's supposed to be a vlog <laughs> But let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. Guys, look who just got here. Fancy and cheek. I'm trying to turn the light down on this camera, y'all. Forgive me, because the room doesn't have good light. And So why didn't you shoot me in the area? Aaron, there's no, the, only, the area that's only eat this room. <laughs> As you can tell from all of my vlogs, the light is in eating room. And no one is sleeping right now. But you look so cute. I'm loving this casual, chic yeah, outfit. Uh, every time I go on the field, then, you know. People keep staring. I'm at me. I'm low-key jealous of your hair because I look very crazy with my hair. Well, and your I'm hair is a little you. nice and slick. Why can't I get my hair to be that nice and slick? Wow, so you just wanna show <laughs> you just wanna show your booty. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is what we All do right. when we get together. We just I need to take a shower and get dressed. Yes, yeah, and she needs to do her hair, makeup. No, nah, I'm just putting my wig on. Your nails are popping, mine. It's I'm jealous hot. of your hair. Do I need to cut my hair lower? No, don't do that, please. Cause I feel like it will slick better. No, I don't think so. All right, guys, I am back, fully done up. Vivi is making up the bed for God know why reason. <laughs> Is it why reason or what reason? <laughs> what reason? <laughs> I, so you have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But I, we came in eat the room because this is where the light is. Makeup is done. I finally look like a person. I'm repeating outfit. I wore this outfit in Texas. But I don't care. I'm going to wear it again. What are you wearing, Vivian? Uh, I'm wearing Chanel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Love it. So casual. It's so chic. Yes. When we get outside, we'll do a full... Um, 
body look. Yes. The kids are ready. And we are ready to head out. We are, we are very late. I'm wearing this, <laughs> this top. I want this top in Texas, but I feel like it didn't get the movement it deserved. No. <laughs> Briefly. So I'm wearing it again. I bought this last year and it was on sale. Are you wearing your sandal? Yeah, I'm wearing my my. I feel like I've shown this sandal a little too much, but you getting the uh, cost for work. But it was very cheap. It was like twenty <laughs> something dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing this outdoor bag. It's a kids party, so we're trying to keep it casual but still cute. So we're getting ready to head out and. I'll talk to you guys when we get in the car. Right. And loaded. The sun is up loud, but. Oh my god, you hear all the kids? It's a lot of kids. Okay, we can effortlessly. Effortlessly, she. Is that really that many kids? There's only three of them. That's Ethan. Hey. Bring the elbow. I'm rubbing his elbow. Oh, why you gotta say it like that? That's no lit. Yeah. That's no lit. Why my hand is dry? All right. I don't want to have a bleeding hand again. I know. <laughs> you have eczema. <laughs> That's Ethan. No, like this. Ethan even had eczema on his head. That's how Ashley oh, used head? to. He used to, yeah. That's what we had to call his hair. We couldn't keep it too long. It's like dry patches. I was going to call it eczema. It's given. It's given. Yeah. So it's ISOs. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Some TJ Maxx. Oh, see, see. She know how to do the vlog. She knows how to take Bottega's meals. Ooh. Oh, I gotta get down low for the views. I gotta get down low for the views. Oh yeah. I love it. The color looks good on you. She is serving. She is serving. Hi, ladies. Check out the channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. I know, right? about that's gonna help me with the decor for the studio space i wanted vivian to meet her after the party we went over to her apartment her apartment it's so amazing vivian was like in love with it it is beautiful it's clean she is living the life of an influencer like i always say <laughs> she had the most beautiful decor yeah, yeah. i'm too sexy for the trap too sexy for the cat too sexy for the jack yeah yeah okay all right, that's fine. Okay, okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected. And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, think we got too sexy for that metro house. Got 
diamond popped out, I'm gonna swallow 60,000. Section need more things in here, I like it crowded. Like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I like it crowded. Oh, you like the boy, well, tell me what you like about him. You a turnt a little thotty, ain't no wife about it. I'm gonna fuck her friends and send them back to Metro Housing. Yeah. Too sexy for this cell, too sexy for your girl, too sexy for this world, too sexy for the life, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. I was coming here to shoot that wedding guest dresses video and I also wanted to shoot some reels in the space but as you guys know we didn't have anything in here so I ran into home goods to pick up some props pick up pamper grass I pick up a little vase and I pick up a picture frame hours let me see if i can put the um camera down i haven't spoken to you guys in a few hours because today has been so hectic um i was up last night editing the vlog that went not really the vlog the studio tour that went up today today's sunday it went up today so when vivian and i got back last night we hung out with the kids for a little bit we went to visit one of my other girlfriend with the amazing apartment you guys probably saw her apartment it is beautiful we've been telling her that she needs to start a youtube channel and start doing like um home decor uh i'm obsessed with her apartment every time i go over there i'm like this is the apartment that i deserve it's super pretty um she did such an amazing job with the decor she's gonna be helping me also with the studio space and then i have someone else that's gonna be helping with the with the studio space so yeah we visited her last night she made us some delicious african food uh we we enjoy her apartment we did a bunch of videos in there uh we checked out her perfume collection she reminds me of an influencer but she's not an influencer she's super organized like super super organized so vivian and i hung out with her last night we had so much fun um vivian left this morning with her kids and went back home but as you guys can see, the office space is well lit. I don't really have any light on. This is just my camera and it's almost uh, it's almost 7 o'clock. It's 6.40, so it's well lit. I'm very happy about that. When I did the reels, it looks very nice. I don't think I'm going to paint the wall anymore because the walls uh, does not look that bad. The place still looks light and airy, but you guys let me know if you think I should paint it white. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm, I'm wrapping up. I'm going to leave some stuff here. I'll show you guys the stuff that I'm going to leave here. I'm going to leave a lot of stuff here because I don't want to have to be traveling back and 
um, forth with things since I know I'm gonna come back to shoot a YouTube video and more reels. So I'm just gonna leave some of my things here. I'm leaving these shoes. I'm leaving all of these shoes here. I'm leaving the two tripods and the camera. I wonder if I should take the small tripod home. I don't, I don't really have anything to do at home. And I'm bringing, I'm coming back here tomorrow so I don't have to do that. And then I'm leaving my suitcase that I brought. I brought a bunch of clothes in the suitcase. I didn't get a sh chance to shoot the YouTube video so I just left the clothes in there. I have bags and accessories in there. Um, I have some dresses in here. I brought the rack from the apartment. Uh, and then I also brought that mirror from my apartment. And I think you guys saw this earlier. This is these are the little decors that I pick up from Home Goods, and I just put it in that little spa, and it ended up working out perfectly. I think I'm gonna end. I'm gonna return this, but I already throw the plastic bag away, so I, I have to keep the pin for grass. But I'm gonna return the vase because I feel like it's too small. I need something bigger. But um, it doesn't matter anyway because the interior designer is coming tomorrow, and then we're gonna figure it out from there. But yeah, that's it. Uh, we're gonna be getting our internet probably sometime this week. I have to call Verizon tomorrow for them to come and install the internet. So I'm excited about that. I need to get some Bluetooth speakers so I can listen to music and jam when I'm working. We have to get cameras and get our security system in place. That's why I'm trying to leave um, now because I want to be getting out of here before it starts getting dark out. And it's six around. It's almost seven around like seven thirty, eight o'clock. It might start getting dark. But this week, we're going to get the cameras for the whole studio space and then like the outside area. Then we're also getting a security system. And I think we're going to get ring, the doorbell ring. <laughs> yeah, it's a doorbell, but it's also a camera. So um, we need to get a lot of stuff in here to keep it safe. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. I'm going to put these things in a car and head home. And I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm very, very hungry. I have not eaten any food all day because I wanted to have a flat belly <laughs> I was shooting wedding wedding guest dresses and you guys know how I feel about tight dresses so I didn't eat um, I have crackers I had yogurt and I had a bottle of water and coffee that's all I've had since I woke up this morning and it's almost seven o'clock so I want to go get some food I don't know what I'm gonna get I want to go get some food and then go home and edit my room Always felt like sticking around the same as being stuck. That's that shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the air again, getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing, had a nigga come got me too excited. Yeah. Monday um, I just got to the office space um, I came to meet up with the landlord it's actually 2 where's my phone it's actually 2 p.m. I'm supposed to meet up with the what well, I was supposed to meet up with the girl that's gonna do the decor at 12 noon um, but she had to reschedule for 5 30 and I wanted to come in and meet with the landlord today before he leaves he leaves here at I believe they said 3 so it's currently 2 o'clock um, so the plan is to come here, meet with him, and then shoot to video. I think I want to do um, what I wear in the week video. I want to see if I can get all that done before 5.30 when I have to meet up with the girl. Also, I have to run to the bank. I want to go and open up a business savings. And I need to get money out to pay my rent. Or I need to transfer money to pay my rent. So that's the plan for the day. And I have some things that I need to return. I bought a pair of shoes from Nordstrom, uh, Jeffrey, not Jeffrey Campbell, a Vince Camuto heels from Nordstrom, but I don't like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and return it. Let me just show you guys before I return it. I don't have too much time. I wanna rush and go inside and meet the landlord so we can talk about what we need to talk about before he have to leave for the day. So these are the shoes that I bought. They were about 100 bucks. I just wanted a regular, a regular pair of black sandals and when I saw these on my way out of the mall, I picked them up. But when I put, when I tried it on at home, the heel feel very low. And I just don't like the way it fit. And it was $100. So I'm not going to pay $100 for shoes if I don't like it. So I'm going to return it and try to see if I can find another pair of black heels. I don't know. Something about this one, it just doesn't... It looks so cute though. But for some reason, when I put it on, I just don't like the way it fit. 
So I'm gonna take it back and get something else. Uh, my outfit, I'm wearing this white long sleeve bodysuit from Nordstrom. I believe I've shared this bodysuit with you guys before in the previous haul. And these necklaces I have on are from Espress. I believe they're from Espress or H&M. I'm not sure which one. And I have on a pair of jeans from Ann Taylor. These are my favorite pair of jeans. I'm actually gonna do a IG Reels sharing some of my favorite jeans. And this jeans is gonna be a part of it if the reels is ready i don't know why i'm messing with my hair and messing with my necklace i'm sorry guys if the reels is ready i'll pop it here for you guys to see and if you want details um about the jeans head over to my like to know it i'll have the link in the description for you guys to go ahead and check it out so yeah let me run in and meet the landlord it's very hot today it's supposed to be 76 degrees so it's nice and warm but the good thing about this bodysuit is like sheer so even though it's long sleeve you're not hot in it um yeah that's about it and i'm gonna wear this bag i was gifted this bag a while back i don't remember who the the brand is and their name is not on the bag so it's kind of hard to figure out who they are to link it for you guys but i like this ba bag a lot i wear it when i want to feel rich <laughs> because it reminds me of celine um the celine bags so this is what i'm wearing and i have on my Amazon sandal. I have the cream one on today because it matched perfectly with the bag. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys. Oh my god, that's the thing about this bodysuit. The V is so deep that it's always showing things. I'm gonna put a pin on it when I get inside. But let me catch up with you guys when we get in. Um, it's 206. Let me go and chat with the landlord. And then I gotta take all the stuff from the car. I bought I brought more props. I have a plant in the trunk. You guys can see it, but it's in the trunk back there somewhere. And I have some other stuff that I'm going to put in there. So I want to come back and try to get all the stuff in the studio space. So where's my keys? So my meeting with the landlord went well. I don't know why I was nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always getting nervous about things. It's so weird. But it went well. Uh, he seems very nice. And... Um, he was pretty fine with all of the things that I want to do because I'm not doing anything too crazy. We're just thinking about maybe painting and um, installing cameras and getting a security lockbox outside the door. But he was fine with everything. He said they already ordered the blinds. They were supposed to be delivered today, but apparently there's a delay with the blinds. But um, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me at all that the blinds are not here yet. The blinds that are here are fine until the new one comes i brought this plant from home you guys remember this plant it was in my son son's bedroom i was using it in my little space or not my little space in his room let me turn this light up a little bit all right this is the plant you guys remember this you've probably seen it in a couple of my videos or reels and oh, this is my outfit i don't think i show you i don't know what's going on with my camera the light is just acting up but uh, yeah, this is the shirt. I try to tuck it in because the V is pretty deep and I'm trying not to flash anyone. Um, let me grab my bag. This is my bag is open. This is the bag. And I think I'm gonna go run to the bank and then come back and start shooting some videos. I'll catch up with you guys later. Happy Wednesday. I completely forgot about you guys. I am sorry. Um, it's 1.45. I've already started my day and did a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but I'm out shooting with Vivian today. I've already uh, finished up all of my looks that I'm shooting. And now I'm shooting her looks. I'm waiting for her to finish changing her clothes. I think she got like two more outfits. And yeah, that'll be it. I'll be heading home to pick Ethan up. I took her to the studio when she came earlier where she met me at the studio and I gave her a little tour. She loves it. It's so beautiful guys. The video and photos doesn't know does it no justice. You have to see it in person. It's so pretty. I'm looking for my flats. But um the last outfit I just shot is this pink shirt and a blue pair of jeans and just a pair of heels. I'm trying to shoot uh thumbnail photos for the video that I'm probably gonna put up next week yeah it's gonna be what i wore in a week video so basically show you guys everything i wore this week 
all everything that I am gonna wear this week I should say uh, but I'm waiting for her to come out it's so hot today I've been complaining about it being cold and now it's super hot and I'm complaining that it's hot I've been sweating but you know we're here making it work um, what was I gonna say I've completely forgot to see, and see what she's up to so loud out here I hope you guys can hear me Vivian where are you oh her windows are tender I couldn't see her in the car Guys, yesterday on my way home, I was saying to myself, like, I was saying to myself that I am so glad that the office space is downtown Wilmington because it works out perfectly. I can go there, do stuff, come down, shoot. Ah, I love it. Let me give you guys a little peek of my view. I'm sorry, y'all, it's super loud, but it's such a nice day out today. We're just on the other side of the street, but literally five minutes down from the office. nice day fancy and chic looking fancy and chic <laughs> it's always so funny when I say that I'm loving the look where's this skirt from why are you always looking for an opportunity to show your your booty I'm gonna tell your husband that's how he met me that's how he met you <laughs> give her the deeds on the skirt Oh, so the skirt is from Mango. I love it. It's so pretty. The sweater is from Mango. Really? I have the something bag, similar I mean, from H&M. That's matchy. It's from Zara. That's it. Yes, I have mines in the car. There's no point of me buying mines if I knew you I have know. one. We could have just shared one. I heard that's a trend now. Yeah, you guys let me know in the comments if you share things with your friends. <laughs> Alright, let me go ahead and shoot your look because I'm wasting time. Where do you want to shoot it? Alright, let's go. She's posing for the vlog. <laughs> Let's go, we're wasting time. That is all of the vlog. I'm sorry that I had to cut the vlog short. Um, I think I might do a spend a week with me next week. Not this week, because this week is going to be super hectic. And it's not going to be anything fun that you guys want to see. It's going to be like business, business, business. So I'm not going to do a spend a week with me. Maybe I'll do a spend a day with me one of these days. Um, but that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the vlog. I'm feeling much better um, I have not been able to vlog at the gym because we leave our phone and our camera in a locker But I would have loved to show you guys my fitness session our class how it is if you ever been to orange TV Let me know in the in the comments uh, What is your like what's your take on it? Do you enjoy it? I've only been there like I think three times and I'm going back tomorrow morning So I'm excited about that I'm gonna do that for a little bit and then I'm gonna mix it up with the regular gym. I'm also gonna get a membership at like Planet Fitness or something just to kind of mix it up um, because I only do the classes twice a week. I got the it classes package, so I do it twice a week. I think that's twice a week. I do it twice a week and then I'm gonna mix it up with. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching the vlog. I'm gonna clean up and head home and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me.